name of the exhibition, What Art in Heaven, an exhibition of paintings, photographs, and videos in praise of life on earth, came to me when I was doing a meditation and a prayer because I frequently say the Lord's Prayer, which is Our Father who art in heaven. And I was thinking, oh, well, how about what art in heaven? And, um, you know, the idea is that, again, in the Asian or Chinese uh, medicine, or even in the I Ching, the concept is that the energy from heaven comes down through man to the earth in terms of his creations. And the heaven's energy, which to me can be interpreted as higher frequencies or higher thoughts, come down through the mind into the heart and out the hand. The hand chakra is being a sub chakra of the heart chakra in healing, the healing system. And right out through the brush, the brush too has in a sense a head and a hand in terms of the bristles being the, the channel of the spirit or the chi. So what art in heaven is supposed to suggest many different questions. You could say what kind of art is in heaven or what art in heaven because look at what we have here on earth. We can manifest beauty and appreciate the extraordinary creation that's here and not worry about beauty elsewhere if we create heaven here. So it was just uh, to be a provocative title to get people thinking and realize that I wanted to include the spirit or God's energy in my work because that's, uh, that's what my heart is filled, in, filled with when I'm working. I found this unusual space because last summer I came up here just for an experiment or a weekend and I started seeing ads for work in the local paper. So I thought, oh, maybe I'm finally going to be able to live my dream and live in Vermont. And one of the part-time jobs, which actually was a full-time job, uh, was the assistant manager of the dining room at the Equinox Village. When I left based on my offer for a full-time teaching job in Manhattan, just on my way out, I happened to take the time to go look at their gallery space. And I thought, oh my goodness, my work would look really good here. But then when I contacted Ashley and she sent me the contract, she said, oh no, this is a, a one-person show. This is all your show. So I was like, oh, that's really exciting. The work that's up at this show is a combination of my acrylic paintings and my big brush work. In addition to some very old illustration work I did, mostly going back to when I was in art school or simultaneous to going to art school when I was living with a Moroccan artist back in the late 70s and early 80s. So the acrylic paintings were started with just some kind of a spontaneous brush stroke on the canvas and then I would just start to develop it in terms of balancing it with color and shading and movement because almost everything that I do has to do with energy and gestures and movement and particularly with the idea of the energy coming down from heaven and down through the spirit through me and through my hand Had three months exactly to get ready so I tried to plot out what the first month would be focused on the second month and the third month and it didn't really work out exactly as I had planned because there was so much to do in terms of you know getting the invitations made and printed and getting the ads in the papers and getting the work framed and just on and on and on that I really didn't have any time to really work on any new work for the show, which was fine because I had an abundance of work I wanted to show. But every night after work I'd come and work on writing letters to the different curators and professors in the region. Everything went remarkably smoothly, but I was pretty tense the whole time because I just didn't know how it was going to come together or if it was going to come together.
You know, just to show you the degree of contrast and irony, I was actually at one moment concerned whether there'd be enough parking space in the Equinox Village parking lot because there are going to be so many people, but it was definitely anticlimactic in terms of numbers. But in terms of gratification, I have to say that the sincerity of the people who came was so genuine and I was so really moved by their comments and reassured in a sense that they understood my intention behind my art and they respected it and they saw me in a more complete light so that was extremely meaningful and rewarding. There was one lady in particular, Mrs. Moser, who just took her time to really look very carefully at many of the pieces in such detail that it was just like a, an amazing experience to have somebody really understand my reasoning and my compositions and my intentions. So in terms of gratification, I'm, I'm very fulfilled in addition to having the experience of actually having a lot of my work framed for this exhibition because now I actually really appreciate my work even more because it looks great in the frames. The Chinese framers did a wonderful job and all the people at the Equinox Village were so positive, so warm. My sister who made a long trip from Massachusetts. So it was a wonderful, warm experience, although much more personal in numbers than I would have maybe hoped for. But maybe it was a deeper satisfaction because of it. I have been more deliberately trying to, in a sense, you could say, channel the quality of the elements. And it just came naturally because doing the big brush painting is sort of a slightly meditative experience because I try to empty my mind before I do the brush stroke because I don't really want to influence the spontaneous gesture. And then when I was doing it here in Vermont and I was feeling more and more awareness of the mountains and the earth and the birds that I thought, oh, well, let those things, those qualities of the sky and whatnot fill me and let them come out in my brush paintings. The idea is that if we all as a species could attune to the different elements of the planet and understand how they play in our health and our own bodies, I think that we'd be even more responsible in terms of our decisions for the environment and the way we dispose of our own, you know, refuse and just make better decisions in terms of the type of transportation we use because, you know, it's almost criminal to think that uh, we're not considering these elements that are the basic components of our own life force. I just wanted to help people kind of vicariously experience them through the videos and when they see the actual brush paintings on rice paper to also absorb that sense of energy and that sense of intensity of joy and beauty and wonder.